like newborn infants. You must long for the pure spiritual milk. Alleluia. That in him you may grow to salvation. Alleluia. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. All came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the Apostles. All who were believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord.
day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. His love is A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now, for a little while, you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable even through tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with the indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended, in that combat stupendous, the Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels are testing the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Thomas, be 
because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. On the evening of the first day of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the Divine Mercy Sunday. We hear about the doubts and the faith. As we heard Thomas saying, unless I see, I'll not believe. First of all, I would like to start uh, this reflection by sharing with you a special message from our bishop showing the true leadership, true companionship, true guardianship, as he says that during this time of the pandemic, when we say time and time again from the depth of our hearts, Jesus, I trust in you. Let us remember the words of Pope St. John Paul II. Those who sincerely say, Jesus, I trust in you, will find comfort in all their anxieties and fears. There's nothing more man needs than divine mercy that love which is benevolent, which is compassionate, which raises man above his weakness to the infinity height, to the holiness of God. Those are special message from our bishop encouraging us during this time of pandemic. My dear brothers and sisters, because of the joy of resurrection, This Sunday is called by different names. 
I'll just list those names, but I'll not explain the meaning. You can just find the meaning by yourself. This Sunday is known as Law Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter, Thomas Sunday, Octave of Easter, Sunday in White, Quasmodo Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday. Each of these names focuses on one aspect of what is being celebrated today. We are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our divine mercy, and are drawn to recognize that our Lord loves us over and over, forgiving our doubts, strengthening us in faith, drawing us into his church and revealing himself to us. So we are called to thank him for his mercy and love for us. I know that doubting is part of life as a human being, but I'm still shocked when I read that not only did the disciples doubt the Lord Jesus during his ministry on earth, and during his passion, they also doubted him very much after the resurrection. Even after the apostles saw the empty tomb and heard the reports of Jesus' appearance to the women, they were still weak in faith and fearful of being arrested by the Jewish authorities. And as we heard in the gospel, that Jesus was doubtful, it was not just him. Look at the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. As the disciples gathered on the Mount of the Ascension, Jesus appeared again to them. But here we are told that some still doubted. Why did they doubt? Here they heard the resurrected Lord Jesus right in front of them, but they had some doubts. Why? Perhaps some of the disciples on that mountain wondered if this really was a person or a ghost or a strange phenomenon. That's why the risen Lord Jesus during the 40 days after his resurrection, revealed the glory of his resurrection to his disciples gradually and over a period of time. And when Jesus appeared to them, he offered the proofs of his resurrection by showing them the wounds of his passion, his pierced hands and side. Most probably their doubts were simply part of being human. At this time, Jesus calmed their fears and brought them peace, the peace which reconciles sinners and makes us friends of God. As we heard in the gospel, Thomas was made a great friend of Jesus. That's why after receiving the peace which Jesus offered, he felt that peace within himself, and that's why he exclaimed, my Lord and my God. You and I are always going to have doubts until we see God face to face. Yes, we may be like Thomas, we may be like the other disciples, showing some doubts, and especially during this time of pandemic, when we are not able to gather physically, we are encouraged to receive the spiritual communion. Probably we may have doubts and say, wow, is it really? Can I receive Jesus spiritually? Also, we know during the Easter time, during the Lenten season, we have confessions before Easter. Many of us missed that opportunity. Also this Sunday, we have many, many lines of people 
learning for confession, but we do not have that, that opportunity. That's why we are invited to have the perfect contrition. And God who sees our hearts forgives our sins. Some of us may be doubtful as well. Is it really? If I do not go to the priest and be absolved, can God forgive me? God sees your hearts. He looks deep into your heart. So go to him with a contrite heart, perfect condition. And when the time comes, then you can approach the priest to be absolved. We have faith before, uh, because Jesus has given us life. Jesus Christ is our deepest love. His presence is a guarantee of everlasting love. His presence is a guarantee of eternal life. As we celebrate this Divine Mercy Sunday, when we consider our human condition with all our doubts and with our need for faith, we have a deep understanding that we live under the mercy of God. Let us thank God for his love and his mercy, and let us always seek and ask for his mercy. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from light, God from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consulted with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered the death and was buried, and he rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and in his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the dead and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess in baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection from the dead, and the life of the to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Trusting in God's mercy, we place the prayers of our community before our Heavenly Father, seeking his wisdom and generosity to the words we speak. For the leadership in our church, especially Pope Francis and Bishop Brennan, may their ministry be reflective of the compassionate and merciful Lord as they care for those entrusted to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, locally and nationally, may they work for the common good and benefit of the people they have been entrusted to serve, especially those greatest in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from dis depression and despair, may they know that they are not alone in their pain and be embraced by the merciful love of God that transforms and heals we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who are suffering from the effects of the coronavirus, be it through illness, financial loss, stress, or fear, may the message of divine mercy bring much needed hope to wearied hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the many people whom selflessly give of themselves to care for those in need, in a special way, we remember hospital personnel, service workers, 
and first responders who daily risk their own health to serve the greater good. May their sacrifices bear witness to God's merciful compassion for his people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists and medical researchers, as they continue to seek a cure for the coronavirus, may the wisdom of God guide them in their quest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been affected by the tornadoes and storms throughout our country, may kindness and generosity surround and sustain them as they begin their task of rebuilding, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, Monica Cachillo, and for all those who mourn, may the message of divine mercy and the Easter season grant hope and consolation in their grief, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we entrust you in your infinity mercy to hear the prayers we have spoken as well as the many we hold deep in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Angel of the Lord descended from heaven and said to the women, The one whom you seek is risen, as he said. Dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the for praise, praise and glory, glory of his name, name for our for good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that are renewed by confession of your name and baptism, they may attain an, an, an unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. He lift up your hearts. We, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, 
our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to loud yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored your life. Therefore, overcome with vast joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make a humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Robert our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, our oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that they may come for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with the eyes raised to heaven to you, our God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said it a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this is pure victim, this is holy victim, this is spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel into your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, and from the by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from, from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
Christ, who said it to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. <coughs> Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am not worthy, worthy to be delivered from the river, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but be. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, 
May you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty, of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.